One of the main criticisms of the HTC One was the fact that it really managed to suck down battery when you actually used the phone heavily. I know, who does that, eh? It meant that if you left the phone in the pocket, quietly sipping data and not doing much else, you could get a decent day's use out of the device. Watch a movie or play a game for too long though and you'll be looking for a charger around 4 p.m. That problem was rectified to a degree with software updates from HTC, but it was still one of the dicier devices on battery usage. Well, good news, the HTC One M8 is a much, much better device at stretching your power out over the day, or even two, and that's because of the A, upgraded battery. Now up to 2600mA from 2300mA but more importantly B, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 chipset at the heart. You might not care much for the internal specs of a phone, but trust me here. Over 12 months Qualcomm's two chips of the period, the 800 and 801, have shown that phone efficiency can leap forward. The likes of the LG G2 and Sony's Peria Z1 were both much improved on their battery when using the 800, and the top phones of early 2014, the HTC One M8, the Samsung Galaxy S5 and the Sony's Peria Z2, are all using the 801 chip and look to run even longer on a single charge. Of course now we're seeing phones emerge with the newer Snapdragon 810, but the Snapdragon 801 is still a great performer. There are myriad improvements throughout the One M8 as well thanks to this new engine. The image processing of the snaps is much enhanced. Data is collected and used more efficiently and pumping content out from the phone is a much more impressive experience. You might not notice it, but the Snapdragon 801, combined with 2GB of RAM, is one of the main jumps forward for the One M8 and I'm really relieved HTC managed to get the latest tech on board its latest flagship.